And what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Heavy J, the Contemporary Comrades Podcast. Uh, I'm here bringing you a little short video today, man. I just wanted to make you all aware of something. Well, I wanted to I actually, you know, fuck that. I wanted to bring you a clear example of what we like to talk about on this podcast all the time, which is changing of definitions of things to serve agendas. So before I even get into this shit, though, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, you know, think for yourself on all this shit, man. I'm just going to I'm just going to read this off and I'm going to let you all know my opinion on it and we'll see if we can get yours uh, in the comments or whatever, man. So before I, you know, look, the World Health Organization, we talked about that many a times on this podcast, especially in 2020, given, you know, what's going on right now. Uh, they're not, they're not strangers to changing the definitions of certain things to, to serve certain agendas. Uh, for instance, being, they've already changed the definition of COVID multiple times. They've already changed their stance on, uh, COVID numbers, like death numbers. You know, there was a, there was a, you know, article that was released by the CDC in conjunction with the World Health Organization that said that only 6% of people who actually got COVID died of only COVID. But... That got removed too. So, what we have here is the World Health Organization has changed the, nef- the definition of herd immunity. Yes, the age old definition of herd immunity. Yes, so I'll, I'll start reading here. Herd immunity is an important concept in medicine. Uh, I would agree. I would also argue that this is a, a huge reason, or this, this explains a huge way, or uh, and how humans have stayed surviving so fucking long is herd immunity. Uh, so according to Healthline, herd immunity happens when so many people in the community become immune to an infectious disease that it stops the disease from spreading. This can happen in two ways. One, many people contract the disease and in time build up an immune, uh, immune response to it, which is natural immunity, which is how before, you know what, the the mid late 1800s that's how we fucking survived for the most part granted there you know science you know uh vaccine research and 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 you know disease control and things like that was very rudimentary uh before those times so the, the majority of the way was you had to just fucking you had to catch it and you had to get over it and you had to build the immunity yourself let your body handle it that's how we have survived as humans uh and the second reason is that many people are vaccinated against the disease to achieve the immu- the same immunity Um, and herd immunity can work against the spread of some diseases and there are several reasons why it often works we could go to the health line page we're not going to go to that I'll let you all do that research on your own Um, now so the World Health Organization in June defined herd immunity as one way and in November they've changed that definition another way for a very spe- uh, for a very specific reason, if you pay attention, so they decided to unilaterally redefine the fundamental medical concept, focusing solely on the role of vaccination in achieving herd immunity, not natural immunity, nothing involving immune response, nothing involving your immune system, etc. Now, our immune systems are constantly under attack from every single angle. In this world, by the food, by the water, by the air, by the electromagnetic fields, and also partly by uh, just just by stress. Every little thing affects your immune system. Every little thing. If you have a if you have a if you work a stressful job or you're in a stressful environment over time, you will generally be sicker. Your immune system can generally be weaker. Now, depending on what you put in that, and depending on your your you know your lineage, and there's a whole there's a whole lot of genetic things that also go into immune system strength. Overall, uh, the biggest factor that you can control yourself is probably diet and stress levels and exercise. Um, people don't have strong immune systems anymore because we're either taking pills to suppress it, so the pills take over the job that the immune system would have. Or it's being attacked by the, the many reasons that I mentioned, and there's even more. So, because of this, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my reasons why I think the who changed this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read your definitions first. All right. So look, as of June 9th, 2020, this is what the the World Health Organization defined herd immunity as then. So they say, what is herd immunity? Herd immunity is the indirect protection from an infectious disease that happens when a population is immune, either through vaccination or immunity developed through previous infection. Oh, okay. This means that even people who haven't been infected or in whom an infection hasn't triggered an immune response are protected because people around them who are immune can act as buffers between them and an infected person. The threshold for establishing herd immunity for COVID is not yet clear at that time. Now, let's go to November. Let's read their new definition of herd immunity. Herd immunity, also known as population immunity, is a concept used for vaccination in which a population can be protected from a certain virus if a threshold of vaccination is reached. Oh, so what happened to the immune system? What happened to other people catching it, becoming immune, and then acting as a buffer for other people? What the hell? What, what happened with that? So it says herd immunity is achieved by protecting people from a virus, not by exposing them to it. Since when? Answer me that. Since when? Since uh, in between June and November? So five months, we've, we've, we've completely ruled out the fact that our immune system have any effect in, in our, you know, our, our uh, immunity to a virus? Is that what's happened? Or maybe they've, they've, they've trashed our immune system to the point where it's no longer even going to be a viable option in their minds to protect against the virus, so they have to bring these vaccinations to you. Which one is it? Or maybe it's not that at all. Maybe they just want you vaccinated for other reasons, so they're going to put the, the natural aspect of it out the fucking way so you don't see it and you don't think about it. Because remember, whatever they tell you, that's what you do because the mind control is at work. That's why we have this podcast. We try to tell you people, look, think for yourself. Do your own research. Don't just listen to these fucking alphabet agencies tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, why to do it. You see what I'm saying? Because this is the shit that you get right here. They gave you the real definition five months ago. Well, I guess it'd be, you know, seven now. But two months, you know, five months after that first real definition, they, they completely change it up. Just like with, uh, I think it was Merriam-Webster. Some, some offended college girl wrote in that, that the definition of racism did not suit her. So what did they do? They changed the definition of racism in the book. I mean... Maybe maybe we should start getting mad. Maybe maybe Corn and I should start getting mad and getting upset at irrelevant shit and start writing emails and maybe they'll change it to add to be the actual definition of what it's supposed to be, right? Maybe 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 we'll do that. I'm I have to talk to Corn. Maybe we'll start getting mad and start writing letters saying, "We're offended that you changed the definition of herd immunity. Can you change it back, please, because this isn't this this is not inclusive to the immune system." Maybe that'll work. What do you guys think? <laughs> look man this is a war for your mind i want you all to remember that this is a constant war for your mind this is a, this is a very small example but it's an example and i wanted to and i wanted to give you this example because it it works like they literally cut out an intricate part of what it of what herd immunity is the founding the foundational nature of what led people to define herd immunity as herd immunity they took that out on the World Health Organization. This is the world. This isn't the CDC. This is the global organization on health. OK, they're telling you globally that your immune system does not fucking matter anymore when it comes to immunity from from a, from a virus. Only vaccination. And I want you to ask yourself why. Why would they why would they why would they take that out? And I'm, and I'm going to let you think on that because I'm, I'm not going to give my full. We, we, you already know what the hell we think, right? So why do you think they took that out? And I'm going to let you think on that, man. So look, it's Heavy J. It's Contemporary Comrades. Make sure y'all tune in for more. We got some banger shit coming as always. We got some upgrades to the podcast that we've made. So, hey, be on the lookout. 
It's been it's Heavy J, comrades. Peace.